dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Can you imagine what Prince's image would be like today if it really had all been left up to those guys out there in the valley? <laughs> Nevertheless, how many record companies are willing to give up that kind of control, you know, hand over artistic control over to their art? Well, at least Warner Brothers was smart enough to give it to Prince. You know, it's to their credit that they were smart enough to stay out of Prince's way. I have to apologize because I don't follow the scene all that closely. I don't really know it's what Prince sounds like. Sounds like I've heard his stuff on the radio, but I don't know that much about his image because I like I haven't been to his concerts and I don't. Well, watch neither have I. But I mean, you know, I think that you can you, you look at him. He is a creative guy. Whether you like his stuff or not, I think that compared to the rest of his stuff in the vicinity, Prince's stuff stands out because it's a vision. You can agree with the vision, you can disagree with the vision, but it looks like it's Prince. It's not Warner Brothers talking. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. worth something. That's something that's worth protecting. It's something that's worth uh, um, commending. And uh, I hereby do that. I hereby commend Prince and Warner Brothers for working out whatever they worked out. You know, you can decide for yourself whether or not you like his music or like his personality or his image or anything else. Yeah. But I would say that the whole music scene would be better off if there were more Prince-like relationships between creative artists and the record company, where they would, you know, just stay out of the guy's way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know that much about Prince's music. I don't, I don't even own a Prince record. I sincerely want to fuck the test out of your mouth. Do you relate? Now Prince sings, uh, I met a girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby masturbating with a magazine. It's, uh, I don't know why he wouldn't defend himself. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Maybe because his manager said, keep your mouth shut, but I think it's unfair, and because he didn't come out. At the time that they attacked him, he was such a big star in the United States. If he would have come out and really made some noise about it, we might not have these problems. Yeah, so uh, any of you guys up here uh, who are musicians who are thinking of signing a deal with a record company, hey, look someplace else other than Warner Brothers, because they're not to be trusted. Have you